The Maryland School for the Deaf has been serving here since 1868 deaf students, hard of hearing students from all around the state of Maryland. And we serve almost 500 students, and that's both the Frederick campus and the Columbia campus. And they're from infant through 12th grade. We have a brand new elementary school coming. And really, it's a, there's a long name to it. It's an elementary school slash family ed slash support service building complex. And I'm sure we'll have a name for it shortly. But for now, that's our working title. And it's, it's huge, 72,000 square feet. And it has everything. Elementary school classrooms, family ed classrooms. And that's the zero to three age group, the babies to three years old. There's a cafeteria gymnasium, audiology center, speech classes, counseling classes, infirmary, occupational therapy area, physical therapy area, and it's very exciting. The building that houses the elementary program currently is very dated. It's not ADA compliant, it's not energy efficient, it doesn't have the water, the sprinkler system, and the new design, it is very visual friendly, ADA compliant, and just, you know, high tech everywhere. Internet access, we'll have a TV studio, the windows are energy efficient, also has the sprinkler system. So just very cutting edge building. We hope to be completed construction of the new elementary school this November 2008. The faculty and students are very excited and everyone has ideas wondering where their classrooms are going to be and where they'll be going. I also had visited the area last week myself and it, it's actually a hard hat area still. I had to wear one myself and uh, had to walk through uh, welders and people doing drywall and made my way through. They're really working hard, working weekends, working round the clock almost. We've been here since 1868. So it's, you know, there's a rich history in this community. We were actually once the largest employer in town. And still, we're not the largest anymore, but we still, we employ many people here that actually live in the community. They raise their children in the community. They send their children out into the community. So we're very much a part of the community here. MSD, I believe, is a state treasure. We have served deaf and hard of hearing students here for many years and we're looking forward to continuing serving students and many of them go out and have very productive lives in the community.